Brookie, there's been some complaints that you haven't been on the vlog enough. So say hey. No, no. Look. Say hey. Say hey. That's my good girl. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Friday. I'm actually filming this today on Friday and going to post it today on Friday. Excuse me while I cook. It smells kind of good. It smells kind of weird, too. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm waiting to hear back from my dad to see if we are going to go on the boat fishing out of Key Largo. Kind of a tough time of year right now. First of all, it's been really, really windy every day, which makes the ocean really rough. Eric and I don't really care about um, rough oceans as much. We can handle it, but my parents who have the boat, and same with my uncle, um, don't really like rough seas, so we kind of got to go along with them. And it's been windy, so the ocean's been rough, and we just haven't been getting as much fishing in as I would like to. But we're going to hear back from him. Hopefully he says, calls and says that we're going to go out even just for a couple hours and fish. We'll see. It is also the busiest time of year for the Florida Keys for, like, traffic. Everyone comes down around this time, so... Um, yeah, it's just a tough time of year all around, but it's when I have off from school, so there's nothing I can do about it. But while I was waiting, I did decide that I might as well try something I've been wanting to make for a long time. A little keto fat bomb. Literally two ingredients, so ingredient one, four ounces of coconut oil. I weigh my things with that little food scale right there. So four ounces of coconut oil. Ingredient two two scoops of Mountain Ops cookies and cream protein. Two scoops right there or 60 grams if you're using a scale but with the scooper it's pretty easy. Just two scoops of that and then you heat that all up and mix it together. This is what it looks like. Now we're gonna pour it in here and freeze it gonna be a little keto fat bomb. So since coconut oil is like 100% fat, 120 calories, I'm pretty sure 120 of them are from fat. So as weird as that sounds, that is good on the keto diet. That is something you need. 14 grams of fat, 18% of your daily value. Wow, that's amazing. That's good. So the idea is you're getting so many fats from this in the entire Thing. There are six grams of carbs from the Mountain Ops. There's three grams per serving. But the point is that normally I wouldn't I don't even really eat carbs at all. But since you're dividing that by all of these little ice cube packs, you're having like 0.2 carbs per fat bomb and lots of calories of fat. So that's a really, really good thing. You guys know I had my little cheat day with my uh Bloomin' Burger and Key Lime Pie and that was absolutely amazing. And I don't think, even now, I don't really know 100% sure if I'm back in ketosis. I know I'm close. Like I'm maybe in that wiggle area, but I did have a lot of carbs. Maybe I should have toned it down a little bit. Not having dessert probably would have really helped, but I told myself I would have at least one of those pies while I was down here. And that was my chance. So it's okay, I don't feel guilty about it at all. Um. I still pretty much look the same and weigh the same, so just give it a couple days for my body kick back to kick back into fat burning mode and little things like these fat bombs help. I also eat a scoop of this every night, raw almond butter. That's amazing, 100% from fat. I also eat macadamia nuts and almonds quite a bit and MCT oil, 100% fat as well. Okay, let's try this out, shall we? No tripod life today. So it can be hard.
Okay. So I made a little bit of a mess because I was impatient, but I'll clean it up. <laughs> but so that little recipe I told you, four ounces of coconut oil, two scoops of mountain ops, gives you one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three times seven is twenty-one, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, twelve, thirty. Twenty-one. It's a pretty good amount, I have to say. It worked perfectly. Filled them all up. Now it's time to just clean them up a little bit and put them in the freezer. All right, in the freezer they go. This is my first time making these, so they are pretty hot right now. They might take a while to freeze, but I'm very, very excited to try them. Looks like they're cooling down. Oh, getting a little hard. I'm pretty impatient just because I'm really excited to try them. Let's try it. They are frozen. Oh my god. Tastes like an Oreo cookie. Hard to bite into, but very good. Wow. You can definitely taste the coconut in the coconut oil. You can buy different types of coconut oil that taste less coconutty. But I'd suggest if you don't like coconut, maybe put more protein powder in, because it just has a subtle hint. And it's mostly coconut oil, so I'm surprised. <laughs> and they just melt in your mouth. Mm. They seriously taste like an Oreo cookie. It's the best idea ever. Last bite. Mm. I think I have 20 more. Wow. Those are going to be a lifesaver. Now that I know they're good, I can't wait to try it with different flavored proteins. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, guys. I do highly recommend making that. It's two ingredients. What do you have to lose, you know? I'll put a link to the exact protein powder from Mountain Ops that I use, just in case you're wondering. Um, it's a good cookies and cream one. Really, really tasty. And then you can just get coconut oil at any grocery store, pretty much. Um, sometimes it can be pretty pricey. It just kind of depends where you're shopping. Pretty much like anything but yeah i'm really excited about them i'm excited to experiment with the different protein flavors like i said and experiment with toppings like i think like a peanut butter one would be good um i could put macadamia nuts in them chocolate chips all this fun stuff i'm really excited to yeah try some different ones now that i know it's so easy you just literally heat up the coconut oil till it melts mix everything together and there you have it Hope you guys are having half a uh, happy and safe um, Christmas going into New Year's. I guess I was gonna say New Year's. I know it's not New Year's yet, but we're getting there. Let me know what your guys' plans are for New Year's and New Year's Eve, and I'll tell you mine right now. I am going to Lazy Days to eat dinner with the whole big Fable family down here in Isla Mirada. I'm really excited about that because we did that last year, and Lazy Days is one of my favorite restaurants I get this fish dish which is to die for so we're planning on doing that and then probably going over to my other cousin's house and she's having a little party there with some fireworks it's right on the ocean that'll be a really fun time just want to say one more time thanks for watching you guys and we'll see you next time